OK, so I, when I talked about uh, substitution, I said substitution is very easy and nice to use when we have a variable isolated already by, um, by itself, or if it has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. Now, we can still use substitution for any type of equation. However, this one immediately screams you know, elimination, right? I don't have a variable isolated or with a coefficient of 1. Now, when we look at elimination, we first start looking at, all right, well, we want to find, we want to eliminate the variable that have the same absolute value of a coefficient. And if they're both positive, we subtract the equations. If they're, the both coefficients are one positive, one negative, then we'll add the two equations. Well, I have an issue with this one because in this equation, I have the same, um, I don't have any of my coefficients for x or for y that are exactly the same. So I need a way to make them the same. So therefore, I can use elimination. So when I look at this, I say, all right, I can either choose to eliminate the x or the y. It doesn't really matter. Um, in this case, I'll just choose to eliminate the x. So what I want to do then is I want to create equivalent equations, but equivalent equations that are going to have the same variable. And let me just give you an example. If I say x equals 2, right, an equivalent equation to that would be 2x equals 4. Now notice, on the left and to the right, I multiplied by 2. But is 2x equal to 4 the exact same thing as x equals 2? Yes, it is. What about if I multiply by 3x? Is 3x equal to 6? 3x equals 6, is that the exact same thing as x equals 2? Yes. And all I did for each one of these terms is I just multiplied by a multiple, by either multiplying by 2 or multiplying by 3. So you can keep equivalent equations if we multiply by a multiplier. So what I want to do is I need to create an equivalent equation that's going to have the exact same coefficient for one of my variables. And I chose to have the same variable as x. So I'm going to multiply um, by a multiplier. Now, we can multiply either way. We can multiply by fractions, which most people don't like to do. Or we can multiply by um, our integers. So if I want to get 4 and 8 together, I need to look at what is the least common multiple between 4 and 8, which in this case is going to be 2. I'll be right back over. Um, so in this case, we're just going to be 2. So now by looking at this, when I multiply my multiplier, now I'm going to create a whole brand new system of equations, which is going to be 8x minus 6y equals 20. This equation is exactly the same as that equation. It's just like x equals 2 and 2x equals 4. It's the exact same. It's just being multiplied by a multiplier. So now I have 8x. Um, minus 6y equals 20. And what you notice is these are exactly the same equations. Exactly the same equations. So if I go ahead and do my subtraction saying, all right, I want to eliminate the 8x and the 8x, I subtract, I get 0x. Um, negative 6x plus, so I get a positive 0y equals 0. So I get 0 equals 0. Well, now I don't have a value of x. I can't find a value of y, but I know when I, when I eliminated my x, I ended up eliminating my y, but I got a statement that was true. So therefore, the number of solutions is going to be infinite many solutions. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve by elimination when you have infinite many solutions. Thanks.